Pushing for D.C. statehood isn't just about the title, it's about the rights. For Latinos living in the district, certain rights in their communities are being neglected. And now, they're amplifying and advocating for their voice to be heard in the fight for D.C. statehood. For Latinos who are a minority, they've been treated with racist sort of uh, issues from sort of racist institutions that have existed and underrepresented them in many different ways. It is only a symbol of it. According to census data, the Hispanic population in D.C. is now at 11.3 percent. This is a 41.8 percent increase from 2010 and growing. D.C. residents elect two shadow senators and one shadow representative to Congress. Shadow because they're non-voting positions that aren't sworn in or seated. Whether you're black, Asian, Hispanic, or any other race, it is most important that we uphold the idea that uh, we have equality and fairness and representation most importantly, whether it's black or otherwise. And now D.C. is a lot more multi-ethnic, but it still lacks representation that every other state gets with a much smaller population. Issues run deeper than seats on the floor. Taxation without representation is on every D.C. license plate, while residents in the district pay the most federal taxes per capita at $10,517.59 per adult resident and produce the highest GDP of all the states. The fact that it's 700,000 people who do not have a direct vote in Congress, that's more people than the state of Wyoming, more people than the state of Vermont, which are states in the United States Congress. Not only that, but um, these amount of economic and sort of social and cultural uh, importance. I mean, I think it designates in all sort of prerequisites of what states should be. Since D.C. can't pass their own local laws without federal approval, this has brought on fears, according to some residents, that if the GOP takes over, they could overturn local laws that disproportionately affect Hispanic communities, such as the one establishing limited-use driver's license, largely used by new immigrants who have not yet obtained citizenship. Because of the fact that there's such a political divide, the Republican Party does not want D.C. to be a state, as it would most definitely lead to three votes in Congress for the Democratic Party. Um, which, I mean, it, it shows a stark idea that the Republican Party does not wish to uphold the uh, voting for this, this state simply because of uh, political and partisan lines. Hispanic leaders say it's their duty to continue the fight to have full representation in the nation's capital. From Washington, D.C., for the South Florida Media Network, Juliana Narvaez.